morning. Welcome into Weekend Recharge. I'm Maria LaRosa. And I'm Paula Goodlow. We'll have more on the tropics in just a second or two. But first, another day of thunderstorms. Some of these could be severe. Incredible video. I think, if I'm not mistaken, three days in a row we saw a water spout somewhere in Florida. So we have the chance for more thunderstorms as we get your Saturday snapshot. The big picture of the stories that we're covering for you here on Weekend Recharge. You still have showers and thunderstorms swirling into the Gulf and around Florida. But also notice some of those showers and storms exiting parts of the Northeast. Can't quite rule out more activity there today. We're going to time that out. But also a few spots we'll keep an eye on for that severe threat again today includes Nebraska. Meanwhile, high pressure dominating the West going to keep you all very dry and warm. That could be some good news for eclipse viewing. We're going to time all of that out as well. But with the heat and humidity still very much in place across parts of the South, we do have some uh, heat concerns. That combination with the heat index levels over 100 degrees likely in a lot of places. So we'll take She's gone. It's not warm when she's away. You know, I'm going away for the eclipse. <laughs> no. That on top of the eclipse fever you have is just not fair. Fever. <laughs> I got an eclipse fever. Uh, I know. It's, it's exciting. But, you know, we want to make sure everyone who has the fever doesn't lose their mind. Yes, or their eyesight. <laughs> That's right. So with it running high, the eclipse fever, that is, Friday in the northeast, and you've had to deal with some really, really crazy weather. All right, the good news is some of that has moved out. So to give you the Saturday snapshot, the big stories that we're covering for you right here on Weekend Recharge. We still have the possibility of some of those showers and thunderstorms with that front trying to clear. Uh, it's not going to be that washout, but heads up along the southeast coast for some scattered showers. Severe threat through the plains, so we'll time that out as well. High pressure uh, dominating the west. We do have some red flag warnings, so that means that heightened fire risk, although clear skies mean pleasant days uh, for the, the west. Heat advisories in effect, too, with that heat and humidity combination across parts of the south, so we'll take a look at just how long that stretch will last here. Well, the solar eclipse is going to take care of that, right? It's only two days away, and homeowners and businesses in the path are cashing in. What? People making money off this? Oh, yes. Hey, NBC investigative correspondent Jeff Rosen is in Lyman, South Carolina, with a look at some of those prices. So many emotions watching that package. I was mad, and I was like, oh, and then horrified, and now kind of jealous. <laughs> put, put this in perspective. I mean, you're going to be in it. I'm going to be right. in it. Right. But from start to beginning, Four hours. I know. Just four hours. I know. We're really and selling on the once in a lifetime thing, and it really is for so many. And it's, and it's cool, but then there's the weather. <laughs> <laughs> you spent all that money, and, and you then have just a cumulus cloud. Cloud. You could just need a little cumulus cumulus <laughs> coming right over and be like, hmm, wah, two minutes wah, later. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. That's what would get me if I spent all that money and a little cumulus cloud covered it up. Now, flying during the eclipse might be worth it. But hey, you know, again, if you miss this one or you can't do it or you want to put the eclipse fun together, mm -hmm. 2024. That's right. You got seven years to. A different stay. path, though. So a different, different like area path, to make money maybe. in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So maybe you're hitting the road uh, for the eclipse or not. We have some travel conditions for you. Obviously, where there's the green uh, interstates, like in the Northeast, too, and also the Central Plains, could be uh, showers and thunderstorms. Yeah, this is travel for Saturday, yes. travel for Sunday. Day, uh, we're going to show you more of the same places seeing pop up thunderstorms and definitely concerned with severe weather. Mm. Probably the bullseye for Monday, maybe cloud cover, could be the Midwest and Plains as well as parts of the Southeast. Yeah. And if you are going to those areas, take note of the county you're in just in case there's a warning yes. if you're not familiar. Tornadoes right. earlier this summer, so yeah, this is it. This is summertime mm -hmm. pattern, and we're seeing more even today. Saw some heavy storms and heavy rain across the Northeast thanks to this cold front, which is still going to be kind of the the, the uh, instigator yes. of more storms today. Good word. Good word. Um, we still have a lot of tropical moisture. It's uh, getting a lift, though, to the north. So if we have had a little bit of a drier feel, <laughs> Uh, it's coming back here yeah. early into next week with that tropical moisture. And you get that combination of tropical moisture, summer heat, chance of storms. Boom, there they go again today, this afternoon in the Jacksonville area. Tomorrow looks fantastic. And then Monday, seeing maybe some morning showers there. All right, D.C., you started your weekend, or I should say Wilmington, uh, started the weekend with some showers and thunderstorms, and then by Monday, Tuesday, and into Wednesday. So if this is your vacation weekend to North Carolina, 
uh, it could be an unsettled week ahead. And again, if you're right at the beach, Riceville Beach, you might have drier time as the storms pop up a little with the sea breeze farther inland. But as we head into the week, and yes, this could have some eclipse viewing implications. Mm. We can watch disturbance kind of drive this storm system across the Midwest Monday and Tuesday, even Wednesday, giving more showers.